Ezekiel chapter 5 And you, O mortal, take a sharp sword. Use it as a barber's razor and run it over your head and your beard. Then take balances for weighing and divide the hair. One third of the hair you shall burn in the fire inside the city when the days of the siege are completed. One third you shall take and strike with the sword all around the city. One third you shall scatter to the wind and I will unsheath the sword after them. Then you shall take from these a small number and bind them in the skirts of your robe. From these again you shall take some, throw them into the fire and burn them up. From there a fire will come out against all the house of Israel. Thus says the Lord God, This Jerusalem, I have set her in the centre of the nations, with countries all around her. But she has rebelled against my ordinances and my statutes, becoming more wicked than the nations and the countries all around her rejecting my ordinances and not following my statutes. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, because you are more turbulent than the nations that are around you and have not followed my statutes or kept my ordinances, but have acted according to the ordinances of the nations that are all around you. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, I myself am coming against you, I will execute judgments among you in the sight of the nations. And because of all your abominations, I will do to you what I have never yet done, and the like of which I will never do again. Surely parents shall eat their children in your midst, and children shall eat their parents. I will execute judgments on you, and any of you who survive, I will scatter to every wind. Therefore, as I live, says the Lord God, surely because you have defiled my sanctuary with all your detestable things and with all your abominations, therefore I will cut you down. My eye will not spare and I will have no pity. One third of you shall die of pestilence or be consumed by famine among you. One third shall fall by the sword around you. And one third I will scatter to every wind and will unsheath the sword after them. My anger shall spend itself and I will vent my fury on them and satisfy myself. And they shall know that I, the Lord, have spoken in my jealousy when I spend my fury on them. Moreover, I will make you a desolation and an object of mocking among the nations around you in the sight of all that pass by. You shall be a mockery and a taunt, a warning and a horror to the nations around you when I execute judgments on you in anger and fury and with furious punishments, I the Lord have spoken. When I loose against you my deadly arrows of famine, arrows for destruction, which I will let loose to destroy you. And when I bring more and more famine upon you and break your staff of bread, I will send famine and wild animals against you and they will rob you of your children. Pestilence and bloodshed shall pass through you and I will bring the sword upon you. I, the Lord, have spoken. Ezekiel chapter 6 The word of the Lord came to me. O mortal, set your face towards the mountain of Israel and prophesy against them. And say, you mountains of Israel, hear the word of the Lord God. Thus says the Lord God to the mountains and the hills, to the ravines and the valleys. I, I myself will bring a sword upon you and i will destroy your high places your altars shall become desolate and your incense stands shall be broken 
and I will throw down your slain in front of your idols. I will lay the corpses of the people of Israel in front of their idols, and I will scatter your bones around your altars. Wherever you live, your town shall be waste and your high places ruined, so that your altars will be waste and ruined, your idols broken and destroyed, your incense stands cut down, and your works wiped out. The slain shall fall in your midst, then you shall know that I am the Lord. But I will spare some. Some of you shall escape the sword among the nations and be scattered through the countries. Those of you who escape shall remember me among the nations where they are carried captive, how I was crushed by their wanton heart that turned away from me and their wanton eyes that turned after their idols. Then they will be loathsome in their own sight for the evils that they have committed, for all their abominations. And they shall know that I am the Lord. I did not threaten in vain to bring disaster upon them. Thus says the Lord God, clap your hands and stamp your foot and say, Alas, for all the vile abominations of the house of Israel. For they shall fall by the sword, by famine and by pestilence. Those far off shall die of pestilence. Those nearby shall fall by the sword. And any who are left and are spared shall die of famine. Thus, I will spend my fury upon them, and you shall know that I am the Lord when their slain lie among their idols around their altars, on every high hill, on all the mountain tops, under every green tree, and under every leafy oak, wherever they offered pleasing odour to all their idols. I will stretch out my hand against them and make the land desolate and waste throughout all their settlements, from the wilderness to Ribla, then they shall know that I am the Lord. Ezekiel chapter 7 The word of the Lord came to me. You, O mortal, thus says the Lord God to the land of Israel. An end. The end has come upon the four corners of the land. Now the end is upon you. I will let loose my anger upon you. I will judge you according to your ways. I will punish you for all your abominations. My eye will not spare you. I will have no pity. I will punish you for your ways while your abominations are among you. Then you shall know that I am the Lord. Thus says the Lord God. Disaster after disaster, see it come. An end has come, the end has come. It has awakened against you, see it comes. Your doom has come to you, O inhabitant of the land. The time has come, the day is near, of tumult, not of reveling on the mountains. Soon now, I will pour out my wrath upon you. I will spend my anger against you. I will judge you according to your ways and punish you for all your abominations. My eye will not spare. I will have no pity. I will punish you according to your ways while your abominations are among you. Then you shall know that it is I, the Lord, who strike. See the day. See, it comes. Your doom has gone out. The rod has blossomed. Pride has budded. Violence has grown into a rod of wickedness. None of them shall remain. Not their abundance, not their wealth. No preeminence among them. The time has come. The day draws near. Let not the buyer rejoice, nor the seller mourn. For wrath is upon all their multitude. For the sellers shall not return to what has been sold, as long as they remain alive. For the vision concerning all their multitude. 
it shall not be revoked. Because of their iniquity, they cannot maintain their lives. They have blown the horn and made everything ready, but no one goes to battle, for my wrath is upon all their multitude. The sword is outside, pestilence and famine are inside. Those in the field die by the sword. Those in the city, famine and pestilence devour them. If any survivors escape, they shall be found on the mountains like doves of the valley, all of them moaning over their iniquity. All hands shall grow feeble, all knees turn to water. They shall put on sackcloth, horror shall cover them. Shame shall be on all faces, baldness on all their heads. They shall fling their silver into the streets. Their gold shall be treated as unclean. Their silver and gold cannot save them on the day of the wrath of the Lord. They shall not satisfy their hunger or fill their stomachs with it. For it was the stumbling block of their iniquity. From their beautiful ornament, in which they took pride, they made their abominable images, their detestable things. Therefore, I will make of it an unclean thing to them. I will hand it over to strangers as booty, to the wicked of the earth as plunder. They shall profane it. I will avert my face from them so that they may profane my treasured place. The violent shall enter it. They shall profane it. Make a chain. For the land is full of bloody crimes. The city is full of violence. I will bring the worst of the nations to take possession of their houses. I will put an end to the arrogance of the strong. And their holy places shall be profaned. When anguish comes, they will seek peace. But there shall be none. Disaster comes upon disaster, rumour follows rumour. They shall keep seeking a vision from the prophet. Instruction shall perish from the priest and counsel from the elders. The king shall mourn, the prince shall be wrapped in despair, and the hands of the people of the land shall tremble. According to their way, I will deal with them. According to their own judgments, I will judge them. And they shall know that I am the Lord. Ezekiel chapter 8 In the sixth year, in the sixth month, on the fifth day of the month, as I sat in my house, with the elders of Judah sitting before me, the hand of the Lord God fell upon me there. I looked. And there was a figure that looked like a human being. Below what appeared to be its loins, it was fire. And above the loins, it was like the appearance of brightness, like gleaming amber. It stretched out the form of a hand and took me by the lock of my head. And the spirit lifted me up between earth and heaven and brought me in visions of God to Jerusalem to the entrance of the gateway of the inner court that faces north, to the seat of the image of jealousy, which provokes to jealousy. And the glory of the God of Israel was there, like the vision that I had seen in the valley. Then God said to me, O mortal, lift up your eyes now in the direction of the north. So I lifted up my eyes towards the north, and there, north of the altar gate, in the entrance, was this image of jealousy. He said to me, Mortal, do you see what they are doing, the great abominations that the house of Israel are committing here, to drive me far from my sanctuary? Yet you will see still greater abominations. And he brought me to the entrance of the court. I looked, and there was a hole in the wall. Then he said to me, Mortal, 
dig through the wall. And when I dug through the wall, there was an entrance. He said to me, go in and see the vile abominations that they are committing here. So I went in and looked. There, portrayed on the wall all around, were all kinds of creeping things and loathsome animals and all the idols of the house of Israel. Before them stood 70 of the elders of the house of Israel, with Jazaniah, son of Shaphan, standing among them. Each had his censer in his hand, and the fragrant cloud of incense was ascending. Then he said to me, Mortal, have you seen what the elders of the house of Israel are doing in the dark, each in his room of images? For they say, the Lord does not see us, the Lord has forsaken the land. He said also to me, you will see still greater abominations that they are committing. Then he brought me to the entrance of the north gate of the house of the Lord. Women were sitting there weeping for Tammuz. Then he said to me, have you seen this, O mortal? you will see still greater abominations than these. And he brought me into the inner court of the house of the Lord. There, at the entrance of the temple of the Lord, between the porch and the altar, were about twenty-five men, with their backs to the temple of the Lord, and their faces toward the east, prostrating themselves to the sun toward the east. Then he said to me, have you seen this, O mortal? Is it not bad enough that the house of Judah commits the abominations done here? Must they fill the land with violence and provoke me to anger still further? See, they are putting the branch to their nose. Therefore, I will act in wrath. My eye will not spare, nor will I have pity. And though they cry in my hearing with a loud voice, I will not listen to them. Take care. God bless. I'll see you next time.